Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we take a look at one of the three large paintings in our Shrine of the Holy Agony. It portrays Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, accompanied by three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. The large painting is mounted above the Pietà statue on the viewer's left. The background and foreground trees recall the setting, olive trees in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus is portrayed kneeling in prayer and thinking about his approaching death on the cross. A stream of divine light emanates from the crown of thorns mounted on the heavenly cross. The light suggests that God is giving his son the energy to accept his impending suffering and death. Although he had asked the Father to let the cup of suffering pass from him, Jesus' posture with folded hands before his lips suggests his willingness to let go of his own personal wishes so that God's will might be done. Meanwhile, his three disciples, Peter, James, and John, have fallen asleep. Jesus will wake them up and express his sorrowful disappointment. Can you not watch one hour with me? It is an appropriate question addressed to all of us. Jesus' words encourage our pilgrims to spend some quality time with Jesus and Mary as they contemplate his passion in this sacred shrine. George Whalen's script this week describes in greater detail this event of Jesus' agony in the garden. Our prayer this week petitions God to help us imitate Jesus' prayer in the garden. We pray, God our Father, despite our fear about the future, please enable us to live our lives with the Lord's faith to do your will and not ours. We humbly ask Mary's help so that we might imitate her Son. We make this prayer through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our next Shrine Reflection will discuss a second large painting in the Shrine of the Holy Agony, The Descent of Jesus from the Cross. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.